So Big Team Battle completely changed and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. Because even though we played around with it with the Oasis playlist that came in after week two of season three, but now every single mode within Big Team Battle features a Bandit Rifle AR start. And notable people within the community are not huge fans of it. Mint Blitz, for example, said, unpopular opinion, I'm not a fan of the Bandit Rifle starts, saying it doesn't feel satisfying to use. And since the Bandit Rifle really stretches out that time to kill, he says, on the positive note, no one can kill me when I'm sniping now. Notable YouTuber and streamer I Spyful said that he actually misses the AR pistol start and saying he kind of misses the ability to be able to move around on the map and breathe a bit, where BTB feels more competitive now. Which BTB definitely shouldn't be feeling like a competitive mode. And how fundamental mentally casual the game mode is. And I know I talked about this in a previous video, but it was my initial thoughts. So I've had some time to jump in and play. And since we're on YouTube, I figure it's a better way to show rather than tell like I did in my previous video. So let's see what the analytical differences are between the band rifle and the sidekick right here. So an unscoped red radical range for the sidekick right here is at 24.4 meters. Unscoped bandit rifle red radical range is at 30.5 meters. So it's a little bit further than the pistol. Scoped in, in a way, if you want to call it basically the 1.4 times zoom where you can't be de-scoped out of, with the pistol, you're at 34.2 meters. With the bandit rifle, you're looking at a scoped in 42.7 meters. Again, a little bit better range. The reason why it's important to know what the red radical range is of each weapon, because when you're in red radical range, that's when aim assist kicks in. That's when bullet magnetism is at the highest. Essentially the effective range you want to be using these weapons. So with this bandit rifle right here, you have a little bit more effective range. So maybe I spy falls onto something. Can I say real quick, I feel like 343 made this coding for me. I mean, look at the color scheme. Black and like a teal color. What's this coating? It's, it's black and teal, man. Like, did they make a chemical ox coating? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Or am I just being incredibly narcissistic? Probably a little bit of both. Now numbers and data are great and all, but you really can't tell how well something plays out until you actually just jump in and actually use a dang thing within the game. So I'm gonna focus on using the bandit rifle and well, maybe a rocket launcher as well in the process of this, maybe a little overshield as well. Yeah, maybe just a little bit of rocket play, you know, just because, you know, I, I, we got to win the game. There's some good bat bandit rifle range right there. I don't know if it's my aim with the bandit rifle or what, but sometimes I feel like I would have gotten a lot more kills if I had a sidekick instead of the bandit. Because even though the bandit rifle does have a bit more range in red reticle compared to the sidekick, but I just feel like... Oftentimes, the psychic actually can overextend it like its intended range. Oh, we get a headshot there, though. That's good. And the time to kill is definitely much faster with the psychic compared to the bandit rifle because of how much you can spam the sidekick. Oh, this, oh, see right there, though. That's where I'm feeling the range with the bandit rifle and the time to kill might be coming into play where that guy just walked right in with an assault rifle and kind of just annihilated me. I didn't really have much of a chance, actually. And I feel like if I had a sidekick in that situation, I think it at least would have been a 50-50 gunfight, which then I feel like kind of begs the question, is actually having a bandit rifle start, since it's like, I'd say it's a least less effective weapon than the sidekick, does it actually provide more value to the sandbox that's on the map? itself does it get, make people want to go around and actually pick up weapons rather than just spawn and hold w for example if you guys ever play br starts with team slayer it really does kind of feel like i don't really need to bother with anything else within the sandbox because i start off with a battle rifle like it's literally like one of the best weapons in the game it actually kind of feels like a power weapon sometimes in regular team slayer for how good that weapon is pre patch for sure it definitely felt a lot like a power weapon <laughs> Like right here is like sweet spot range right there for the bandit. Not too far, but not too close, obviously. Maybe some guys a little double kill. I would honestly say that with bandit rifle starts, the player at spawn basically got a nerf, but I think it actually might lend itself to better gameplay within big team battle. Because one, you can see like the recoil right here. It's significant, especially once you get down to the, like the last five shots of the magazine. Oh, get out of there, dude. I did not having you trying to run around here with this vehicle. Okay, jump in here. Side, side step this right here. No, you're not. Okay, he's done. He's so done. He's infinitely spinning. 
he knew he couldn't handle it. But yeah, when you're down to like the last five balls within the bandit rifle, that like the kick really starts to come in. There's still significant recoil, as you can see, like right here. That's a good amount of recoil where it makes people want to, have to reset, even though it automatically resets, that there is a visual recoil that will make you want to pace your shots a little bit more. Where the sidekick really doesn't have recoil. It has bloom, which is definitely is there and will certainly affect how you shoot. Bloom doesn't really affect how you shoot with the bandit. Like you see, there is bloom, but that's more just like a visual indicator of when your next shot is going to be available for you to use with the weapon as you can see right here with like how fast i'm shooting the weapon like the visual indicator of spread resets before you can even shoot again oh let's watch this right here yeah honestly I do kind of wish it was a little more epic, but it's still pretty cool. But yeah, like the sidekick doesn't really have any form of recoil, so you can get a bit spammy with it, and it can be a bit generous within red reticle range of when that bloom actually does kind of start kicking in and affecting your accuracy. So even though that the bandit rifle does technically have a more effective red reticle range as a starting weapon, I would actually kind of say with the lack of recoil and the kind of bloom forgiveness, I guess is the way to put it, with the sidekick that I actually would say the sidekick might actually have a little bit more effective range. Oh, I'm sorry, dudes. Oh, no, I'm getting double teamed. Oh, no. What was that sidekick effectiveness? A little too effective at range. So would I say that the sidekick is too effective? Oh, my God. Hang on. Oh, my God. The wasp is right here. No, we're talking about the bandit. I need to showcase the bandit. But is the sidekick a little too effective at its range? I mean, I'd, I'd say for it. Ooh. Before I was so rudely interrupted, is the sidekick too effective as a starting weapon for its range? And I would kind of say yes. I've definitely noticed that with bandit rifle starts, that the freedom of movement is definitely there for players to actually kind of move around the map a little bit more. Because, like, even though you might not be able to get a kill right with whatever range, uh, extended range is with the sidekick, you can still kind of pepper people a little bit and kind of just give them a little bit of a tap, like, let them know that, hey, I'm here, and I don't like you being on my map, and I'm trying to delete you right now. I'm going to pop this camo. I do have a sword. I know I'm talking about bandit rifles and, this, and sidekicks in this game, but when you have a camo and sword combo just kind of land in your lap like this, like, you kind of got to take advantage of it. Why did I think what what just happened? I just went uncamoed for no reason right there. What just happened? Like I know I walked near the flag, but what? But let's talk about the king right here though. The battle rifle, like you can't beat the battle rifle. Like the sidekick and bandit rifle definitely hold, you know, a good amount of firepower. They actually do have fi faster time to kills than the battle rifle, at least the sidekick does. But the thing is that the battle rifle is just so much more effective at range. And I've read plenty of comments on Twitter and on YouTube saying they want battle rifle starts for big team battle. You don't want that. I guarantee you don't want that. Because imagine this. With a battle rifle, you can get red rail range like what, right here? Well, you'd be getting peppered from people from all the way out here. That's a little bit beyond what even the sidekick can pull off. And so you just begin basically lasered across the map constantly by players. Like what's this? This is like 80 meters away. I'm still getting red rail range. I think red rail range is like 92 and a half meters when it comes to the battle rifle. You don't want this. You you say you want the battle rifle, but you really don't want the battle rifle to be the starting weapon within big team battle. Let's get this guy right here. I think he's gonna walk into a wall. That's not gonna help you out, buddy. Like, look at this. Man, I completely outclass this kid right here. Right? Right? Yeah, okay. Got a little questionable there for a second. Oh my god. But you see how I was able to get that kill with the battle rifle rather e easily, even though I was kind of missing shots because I was a little bit outside of red relica range. But the thing is, is like, with the bandit rifle, I don't think I'd have that confidence. I don't know if I would challenge that with a ba with a bandit rifle. I mean, if you ever played like Hemorrhage on Halo Reach BTB with the his scan DMR, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Which actually kind of brings it back to my previous topic I mentioned with what I Spyful mentioned about saying that it feels sweatier with the bandit rifle. I just wouldn't agree with that statement. If it, it, I don't think BTB feels more competitive with it. Like, yes, it does have a little bit better range and stuff like that, and like your psychic. And I think the psychic is a solid starting weapon, but I feel like the bandit rifle lends itself to better gameplay as you can't be as accurate or as spammy. With the bandit rifle, you can't pepper nearly as many shots into people as you normally could with, say, the uh, sidekick. And so I would say for the most part that I think it actually is a good change that 343 made. Oh my god, and there's a tank on the map now. Okay, can we get at least like put some damage in this thing with a skewer? I got a skewer. 
I should be able to do something, right? Something. By the way, I joined this game in progress and you can see why I joined in progress right now. There's a tank on the map here and I do have some sticky nades. Can make some noise happen. Oh, we actually got a double kill with that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Never mind. The bandit rifle's overpowered and needs to be removed. There's a, they have another tank. So while we're getting stomped in this game, I think it's a good time to bring into closing. One of my thoughts on it, I think actually it's a good change. Even though it does technically nerf the player, player in their effectiveness, it might have been a little too effective over range to have a sidekick AR start. I think the banner rifle actually kind of nerfs players a little bit. Well, also kind of gives them a little more of an effective range, technically with the red reticle range being a little bit further with the bandit rifle. Though I'd say effectively that the sidekick might be a little bit better to utilize so you can be a little bit more lethal on the battlefield here. I know I'm talking about bandit rifles and sidekicks, but, and I pick up this wasp, but I don't want to let us just get absolutely demolished. Like, no one's picking it up, so I gotta use it, right? Dude, this is just absolute pain in this lobby right now. This is exactly why I hate joining games in progress. <laughs> you got half my team just quit out, and it's not getting filled out for whatever reason. And the other team is absolutely slaughtering us with vehicles and power weapons. So if you're gonna be complaining about Bandit rifle starts. I feel like there might be some bigger things you need to worry about when it comes to big team battle, especially with like the uneven spawns that happen when it comes to vehicle placements. Like sometimes one side will just get a tank for no reason. And look at that. And we lost 3-0. So even though I would say that the bandit rifle actually does nerf the player themselves and their effectiveness on the battlefield, I do think it's an overall upgrade when it comes to the gameplay of big team battle. Well, let me know what you think in the comment section.